Welcome back to Cats Conservative Media. Thank you guys for joining me again today. Slavery, segregation, and the ghetto. Yes, it's all connected, guys. Uh, as a person who grew up in the inner city, I think it's only right to talk about the truth and the reality of what we see, uh, what we've seen going on even before I was born uh, in, in the last 40 to 50 years with the expansion of the ghetto and the big government coming down on the ghetto and, and the people who stay in these ghettos are just trapped, right? Uh, myself, I was able to get out, but I don't necessarily believe in this, this terminology of getting out of the ghetto. Uh, I left because I felt that it was only right for me to follow my spouse or my soon to be wife uh, who, you know, didn't want to live there. I had no problems really staying in the inner city. But she saw, you know, she kind of built this vision in my head. Okay, well, what about our kids? And what about this? And what about that? And so, you know, not to say that we wouldn't be opposed to moving back, but she lost her father at a young age, uh, you know, who was killed in a, uh, a gang initiation. Uh, her father never been a gang member at all. But sitting in his car, a guy got jumped into a gang. They said, kill the first person you see and they took her father out. So she has this conviction on her heart. I have lost people in, in the inner city, uh, family members and friends, but I'm a little bit more desensitized to it. And I just have hope because I know the good people that I grew up around in the inner city who aren't gang members, who aren't drug dealers, who work regular jobs or own small businesses, you know, or do the right things, or, or, or good paying, or good tax paying citizens. But you notice that throughout history, most of the things that have become uh, mainstream in politics on the progressive side have been tested on minorities, right? Especially black people. From slavery to, uh, and also some Europeans too. Let me, let me add that. But slavery, segregation, um, the great society laws, abortion, birth control, um, uh, the Tuskegee um, experiment, when they tested syphilis, you know, and, and I could keep going on and on and on. Um, but the government has chosen to test out all these progressive movements on minorities, right? Blacks and then also Europeans, uh, uh, people who came from, from Italy or Germany or some of these European countries. But for, the, for, for black people, you know, we have been the, the problem uh, of the bigger problem because we keep falling for it, right? We keep falling for it over and over and over again. Now, the only way to fix the inner city, and, and I'm going to be honest when I say this, this is my vision, uh, brought by, you know, brought on me by God. Um, and I'll tell you about a dream I had when I was in high school and why I say this is that my vision is that we can come together, become hardworking taxpayers, small business owners, homeowners in, that com in those communities, police officers, firefighters, uh, and also big business and investors, right? We can come and fix these communities and make the education system good, make the neighborhood safe, make the food good, make things that are supposed to be normal, gyms and, and, and ways to stay healthy and, and ways to do things the, right, the proper way, put family first. Uh, you know, that is my vision and, and that I've had. I never forget, I'm happy that I, I can share this with you guys. When I was in high school, my, uh, it was about my junior year in high school, uh, I always had these dreams, right? Uh, you know, when I, I'd fall asleep. And uh, one dream stuck out to me particularly because I could see the dream as if this person was really there. I actually saw this person in my dream and, I, and it, was, it freaked me out, right? But it was a dream I had with Martin Luther King. And in this dream, Martin Luther King said to me, he said, our battle isn't over. And I, I never forget because there, there was a stairway and he said, follow me. And he, he, and he was, for some reason, he had this speed that I didn't have, right? So we're going up these stairs, and the stairs didn't stop. And then I woke up. And I, I never forget that, because we're not put here to be the experiment of the government, right? Slavery is over. Segregation is over. Progressive, great society needs to end, too, everybody. It's important for us, as all Americans to fix our own problems, right? Work together to fix our own problems. We see that happening right now with these hurricanes, right? People stepping in of all races, all backgrounds, 
to help one another. That's our job. Our job in the ghetto is not to follow the system that is continuously failing us, right? Which is government, right? The uh, police presence, the uh, welfare, Section 8, uh, um, single family households, father not being around because he's in jail, right? These things are failing us. And if there's one thing you could take from my message, remember the dream I told you that I had. I don't know if any of you guys have had that same dream. But that battle is going to be continuous no matter what. But once we get ahead, it's always right to never look back and step back, right? Because anytime we seem to take a step back is when we get fooled. And it's when we get stuck on, oh, well now, what's the next battle, right? You got people out there screaming Black Lives Matter, but they're screaming it under the banner of progressivism. They don't really understand what it means, right? And then you got people in Chicago, black on black gang members, killing one another. You got people in the inner city all over America doing the exact same thing. Black on black, black on Hispanic, Hispanic on Hispanic, right? And nothing is happening to make it better because they're all doing it in a way as an experiment, right? When gangs like the old uh, uh, gangsters, like the Al Capones, they did that stuff with a purpose. They did it for money and for fame and it still wasn't good, but the government shut them down. Today, violence in the inner city is used to, to pretty much, and I'm going to be brutally honest with you, because this has happened in South Central, this has happened in Harlem, this is happening right now in the Bronx, this is happening all over America. It's used to gentrify great communities and put in the people who want to pay taxes and actually build these communities up. Have you been to Harlem lately? Thank you guys for joining me. God bless you. God bless the United States of America.